Okay, um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Bambi mod or the headlight mod on your 2004 to 2008 F-150s or Ford Expeditions. I don't know if it'll work on any other vehicles, but uh, here's what we're working with. I got an 07 F-150 4x4, which I can't really get into full view, but that's okay. Um, basically, what this does is you can't run your high beams and your fog lights at the same time, uh, it'll switch off. I'm not, I'm not going to show you this because it's the middle of the day, but uh, you're just going to have to trust me on that one. Basically what you're going to need to do this is a length of wire. They are uh, wire strippers obviously. These, I don't actually know if I'm going to need them, but brought them here anyways. And something like this. There's a little female connector that will go onto your relay. I'm not actually sure which one of those fits, so I brought both of them. All right, anyways, what you're gonna do is start, God, I should have brought a flashlight. Anyways, down here in the passenger footwell, is the kick plate. Just pull that off. Kind of finagle it around, there you go. And then that's some kind of fuse box or something. And down there where it says pull, you uh, pull. And then here you got, got all this right here. And this middle relay right there, which I'm touching with a pinky, that's for your headlights, you know what I'm saying? And so what you're gonna do is Yank that out like that. Okay. And now, we're going to put this, okay? And it's this one right here. That relay right there, that is the one that uh, connects with well, the one that we're going to be using. All right, I got to figure out which one of these fits. Yeah, I wound up using the big one, that right there. But, anyways, actually, we're not going to even need this right now. I'm going to have to take that off and show you the next step. All right, and now. I have that connector crimped onto the end of the wire. I've already stripped it and whatnot. I got the other one bare as well. Now this is this is probably the most stressful part, at least it was for me. When you're looking at this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to bend that back to where it's almost folded on top of each other. I'll God, uh I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see me bending. Alright. So I'm gonna take a pair of needle nose pliers. And bend this. I'm just gonna do this. Hang on. Down like this, and that, and then you'll hook. I don't know why I'm doing this right now, but anyways, basically this is gonna go in there like this, and then this is gonna go to a ground, plugged in there like this. So let's do that. Okay. Now, I think to get this back in, you might have to get like a pair of like a razor blade or something. Ow, shit. And cut, uh, see that? Uh, I really should have this out before I start recording this. Um, that's just gonna have to suffice for right now. I'm gonna see if this will plug in. If it won't, we're gonna have to do some surgery. Okay, so what I did, get that in there, let me see, it's not very clear, but uh, there's a piece of plastic, you'll probably see it if you actually choose to do this, up there that's kind of in the way, and uh, what I did was I just kind of scraped off a little bit with a knife, and uh, basically managed to get it to where that will fit back in there. And now, the last part is, you have to find a ground for the other end of the wire. There is a fucking bee, the hell out of my truck. Look at him. He's just right in the way. There he goes. No, he's coming back. He's coming back. All right, anyways, what I chose to do, because I am actually quite lazy, and because I don't want to rip my truck apart, because I don't trust myself to do that, what I did was to ground it. Anyways, all right, so that, let's see, it got a light finally. That's where I plug that in, whatever. And then if you move this thing back, this thing right here, there, there's this Thing. You gotta kind of yank on it hard, but uh, that's where that that clip right there. That's where that would plug into, and then I just wrap that wire around there a few times, which probably is gonna come loose. But then when you push that back up in there or whatever, like like that, it actually holds in really well because because uh, the the plastic clip kind of forces it up against the metal. 
you know, it'll probably fall off one of these days and I won't know why the fuck my headlights. But anyway. Alright, now I'm gonna test it out. I gotta do this quick before my neighbors get back so they don't think I'm fucking weird talking to myself. Alright. Headlights on. High beams, well they were already on, okay. See that's on. My fog lights are on at the same time. Redneck uh, camera mount here. I'm gonna go flick them on and off. Just maybe you'll be able to see. Flick them on and off a couple times. They're actually off right now, so I see. Fog light still on. Still on. Good. So I think that just about does it. Turn that shit off. Alright, and now uh reassembly. This is pretty much the opposite of assembly as they say. Um one thing you're gonna want to do is take a knife and cut a little notch. Like that little triangle I got in there, uh, because that's what you run your wire out of. I'm not gonna be able to record myself uh putting all that back together. But I'll I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Well, now then, hang on. God, this is such a shitty camera. Um. Okay, yeah, right there. That's where the wire's coming out of, and then you just pretty much. Good God, I'm really not organized. Um, take all this wire right here and just kind of tuck it behind there. Can't plate. Let's see if I can do this one handed. So you line up the bottom, line up the top. Bam! And that right there. That is how you do the Bambi mod or a headlight mod. Just uh, take this time to go ahead and uh, say thanks to all the guys at uh, F-150 forums. Because uh, even though I haven't actually posted one single thing on that website, uh, I did search. And, uh, you know, I had to make sure. Let's see, there's also some other website that I used. Yeah, F-150 Forum. Used that. So, yeah. Uh, that's, that's it. That's pretty much all you need. Hopefully it was pretty, uh, pretty easy to understand. But I know I'm pretty confusing when I do work. So, anyways, take care, guys.